what's going on youtube coming back at you with another video so amidst all the bullshit in the world all the fuckery all the backwards ass weird shit that's going on there shines a light of positivity and i'm so happy and thankful that it happens to be on sea murder for those of you who don't know this man has literally spent the past 15 years of his life in what some would consider the worst prison in this whole country Angola State Prison in Louisiana for a crime that now is looking, although if you really looked at the case and you've been following it, um, you would already know C murder. It was kind of, it was kind of suspect whether or not he was the, the shooter, but now all the truth is finally shining through and shining bright. And it's looking like that he has a good chance of getting out. So basically he was convicted solely on the testimony of these two witnesses. The witnesses um, that were used in this case against him, that the only two people who connected C murder to this case in any way, because there was no physical evidence, there was no DNA evidence, there was nothing tying him to this crime at all, other than what these two witnesses said. The fact that now these two witnesses, 15 years later, are deciding to do the right thing and come forward and come clean with the fact that they were um, feel like they were pressured and had to lie. This is just like a miracle before your eyes. And it just lets you know God really is real and never give up hope and never give up fighting. Like this really is a miracle that we're seeing before us that 15 years later, when this shit was over and done with and see murder was forgotten about by a lot of people out there, although there's a lot of people who didn't never forgot about him, but you know how it is, like the fact that he was forgotten about in the face of the law, that they were able to convict him, and once they convicted him, all this time had passed, it was over and done with in their eyes. The fact that given those circumstances, now, the chance that he has to come home is so strong, it's just like, it really is a miracle. I don't know exactly how this is going to play out in court. I don't want to jump the gun, but to me, it looks like he's definitely going to be coming home. If all the state had was these two witnesses, and now these witnesses are saying that they were pressured by police to make these statements, there's really nothing there left for them to use to convict him. And if for some reason this were to go to like a retrial, there's, there's no way that the state would probably even take it because there's no evidence. So this is looking really, really strong for C-Murder, and I'm just thankful that this is happening. Um, he had a message for Lil Boosie because, for those of you who don't know, him and Boosie did time together in Angola State Prison, and he said to Boosie, it's almost that time. Basically just letting him know, like, you made it out. You, you never gave up. You made it out. You stayed strong. I'm doing the same thing, and I'm, I'm going to come home, too. And the fact that it's happening is just really, a, a, to me, a sign that God is real and God is good. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation on the comments. I definitely appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. But make sure you keep your thoughts on C-Murder right now and focus that positive energy to getting him the justice that he deserves. I definitely appreciate you watching. Peace.